Welcome back, everybody, to Chupacabra Lair's Tech Talk, and today we're looking at Google buying Nest Laboratories for $3.2 billion. Um, it's interesting because Nest Labs does a lot of home automation type products. They have a protect smoke detector, which is uh, a smart smoke detector, which promises to keep you safe while also removing a lot of the hassles and annoyances of modern day smoke detectors beeping in the middle of the night because they're low on batteries. And they're also, um, their primary, their original product offering was the Nest Learning Thermostat to automatically set and adjust the temperature in your house to keep things comfortable while also saving you money. And Savvy, I'm a little bit curious about this $3.2 billion. That seems like a lot, because no offense to Nest, they're product lineup is maybe worth a couple several million but not billion yeah i mean 3.2 billion is a huge amount of money and the, the thing about it is google has their their head in the big picture here they're, they're not paying the money just for the thermostat obviously what they're trying to do is open up the door for um other advancements in your home much like you know they're doing stuff with the self-driving car and, and they're trying to innovate with smartphones and google glass they want to do that kind of stuff in your house too so right and that really brings in together like this topic that's kind of been on the tip of everyone's tongue in the tech world for the last two to three years i'd like to say of home automation is a huge deal they want to be in your living room in your bedroom in your kitchen in everywhere that could be possibly relevant to your needs doing stuff and selling you stuff and that's kind of what i think google is driving at here is they want to buy up nest's team more than the products to help snag very specific talent from the company to do some new google stuff in your living room Sort of like with the Chromecast, because that's one of Google's forays into your house, getting you that platform that everyone's looking at for like getting you all of your streaming media consumption needs right at the touch of your fingertips. Yeah, absolutely. And if they can beat everybody to this, you know, to the punch here, then they're going to make a ton of money and easily get the $3.2 billion back. So there have been some concerns regarding this buy-up. Clearly, Nest right now offers app support for Android, iPhone, and everyone is kind of like, well, does that mean Google's going to nix their iPhone support? Not at all. They've already said that Nest is going to be primarily autonomous in this arrangement, so they're going to continue with their iPhone, iPad, and Mac support for their products while also, you know, making cooler, newer products that will probably integrate really well with the standard Android operating system. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to think that, you know, maybe with the Android support, they might have, you know, some extra little features or it might just be an overall smoother experience, but they're, they're not going to get rid of the iOS support. There's no way. It's, it's too big of a market. Too many people have, you know, iPhones and iPads and everything. They're, they're not going to sell themselves short in that aspect. Right, and talking about talent, the folks that are behind Nest are Matt Rogers, one of the engineers for the first iPhone, so he clearly knows what he's doing as far as making smart technology, along with Tony Faddle, who's known as the father of the iPod. So those are two big names, two founders of the company that were really pivotal in pretty much all the stuff we use today, honestly, from... I mean, my phone, your phone, the iPhone, iPads, computer technology in a certain extent. Just making everything smoother and smarter. So, I'd say, you know, maybe Google would shell out a couple billion just for those guys to say nothing of the talent they've probably accrued around them, given that they're both ex-Apple employees and they've got a lot of connection. And something that Nest also does is they're really good about providing you with visualizations about what these two products are doing because that's it's smart technology. You want to know how it's saving you money, how it's keeping you safe, how it's making strides to keep everything working together. So that's another thing that like everyone's constantly trying to do is how do we visualize information so that it's the most valuable to people? Yeah, and it's nice that they're they're not just taking a convenience approach with, you know, some of these new technologies. It's not, you know, buy this thing because it's convenient for you. It's also financially 
beneficial and, and everything else. So it's going to be exciting to see what they come up with in the near future. Right. Well, that's been Tech Talk with the Chupacabra Labs. Join us again next time, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Ta-ta. Bye, guys. Bye.